Today we're taking a look at the best freeware planes for Microsoft Flight Sim. We're gonna do it in a tier list style and these only include planes that are completely free, not the base planes for the game. And they also can't just be upgrades to planes that are already in the game. Let's get started. If you guys want to know how to install these planes into your sim, if you're not sure, I have an entire video about just that. I'll link that down below. We'll start right away with the B2 Spirit, my favorite plane of all time actually. This is a Flight Sim X conversion. Now, sometimes that means good things. Sometimes that means bad things. In the case of the B2, it's actually pretty good. This is going A tier. I may be somewhat biased, but it does fly like a big plane. It flies how you would think it would fly. But the main drawback is the cockpit looks terrible and the textures are aren't as high quality as they should be but overall it's still a pretty good mod and next up the spiritual successor to the b2 the b21 raider i have an entire video on this plane i'll put that down below as well it's horrendous this thing as you can see from the image doesn't look anything like the b21 raider do not download this well i mean you can it's free but that is immediate f tier and next up the crj 700 another flight sim x conversion when i first downloaded this maybe a year ago it worked half decently now it's actually pretty bad i don't think i could even give this c it's pretty bad if the plane barely works it's got to have a low rating as you can see even on flightsim.to it didn't even get two stars this is going f tier as well and next up the learjet 45 i've used this in a few of my videos it's not that terrible the flight physics are a little bit too touchy it moves a little bit too well the reverse thrust feels way too strong oh my god the reverse thrust is crazy and the textures aren't that great, but it does fly and it does work every time. I'm gonna put this in C tier. And next up for an older type plane, we have the Hawker Hunter. It's actually pretty decent. There is tons of liveries and tons of different versions of this plane with the freeware. You get so much for the price of $0. This is actually a good one. I'm gonna put this... I may have to put this in A tier. I, I can't have it overtake the B2 because that's just my favorite, but it has a really good review on flightsim.to and a ton of downloads. I have to give it A tier. And next up is the Bombardier Global 6000. In real life, this is one of my favorite business jets. In the sim, the freer one, I use it all the time. If you've ever been in my stream, you'll see I use it a ton. It feels really good to fly. The textures could be a little better, especially the cockpit does not look great. I'll put a picture of it if I can find one. But overall, it's actually a really decent freeware. I'm gonna put this in A tier just because the cockpit doesn't look that good. If the cockpit looked better, this would honestly get S tier because it's a ton of fun to fly. And I think A tier is a good spot for that. Now, just for the fun of it, I figured we'd put the UFO in here. The UFO is terrible, dude. This thing is horrendous. Controlling it is a nightmare. The interior is just goofy. Obviously, it's meant to be goofy, so I can't hate on it that much. Because of those things, it's going to go F tier. I'll put it above the B21 and the CRJ just because it's not as broken as those. And next up, probably the most popular, very close to the most popular freeware in the entire sim, the A330-900. You can see it has 300, over 300,000 downloads. There's an issue with this for me. I don't know if it's just because of my HOTUS, the specific HOTUS I use. When I use reverse thrust... This plane makes my game have really bad frames and I'm running on a 4080, so it shouldn't be an issue at all. So I'm gonna give this C tier, but I'm sure a lot of you guys will probably disagree with me on that. But because of my experience, that's all I have to go off. I'm going C tier. And the best freeware fighter, in my opinion, the Rafale is so cool. I love this plane in real life. The model looks absolutely amazing. The cockpit isn't even that bad. Usually with freeware, the cockpit looks horrendous. The cockpit on the Rafale is not too bad, but the Rafale is very cool in real life and it's very cool as a freeware. I hope you get a payware one eventually that's even better. I'm gonna give the Rafale A tier and I'll put it right behind the B2 Spirit. And next up, what I believe to be the smallest jet aircraft ever, correct me if I'm wrong, I'm pretty sure it is, the BD-5J. It's pretty interesting to fly, you'll probably get bored of it pretty fast. I'll give this B tier, pretty fun, I'd say it's worth the download, but it's not the greatest ever. And next up, another one of the most popular freeware planes, 
the F22. This is made by the company Top Mock that also makes the payware version. And this is arguably better than the cheap payware version. There's two payware versions in the game. The textures are good. All that stuff is good. For those of you who don't want to spend money on the game, it is definitely worth the download. And I'm going to put this in A tier. I'll put it right behind the Rafale because I love the Rafale. It just has a special place in my heart. And now the DHC7. DHC has a lot of cool short takeoff and landing planes. Unfortunately, this freeware DHC7 is horrendous. It's a very strange freeware plane. I don't know if it's been updated since last time I used it. So I'm gonna put this F tier, but we'll put it in the front of F tier because it's not as bad as these ones. And now the ATR-72. This was another one that I was excited about when I first used it, but it kind of fell flat on its face. The textures are terrible. I think this is a Flight to Mex conversion because that's what the textures look like. So I'm gonna have to put this in F tier as well. I'll put it behind the UFO. And now the last two, which are two of by far the most popular freeware planes for the sim. For the AN-225, most of y'all will probably disagree with me on this. In the past six months, I think, the trim does not not work. I've uninstalled, reinstalled, tried different ones. The trim just doesn't work on this. Makes it impossible to really have fun with it. It's just kind of annoying you're fighting the trim the entire time. So I will put the AN-225 just because it has the cool factor of being the biggest plane in the world, all that kind of stuff. It's going to go C tier and we're going to go at the end of C tier because it does have blatant issues. And finally, the C-17 Globemaster. This plane, the textures on the outside are almost immaculate. Everything works as it should. It's never given me any issues at all. It feels like a big plane. It feels how you would think it would feel. The reverse thrust feels adequate, extremely powerful. It's just overall an absolutely awesome freeware. And today, this is getting the only S slot. There it is. C-17 Globemaster S tier. There's everything else. If you guys want to know how to download these, there is a link to a video down below. I did a tutorial on that. Thank you guys so much for watching. I know I missed some. I just did the freeware planes that I have the most experience with myself. Hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you next time.